Hi Aries, let's see whose energy is coming forward for my Aries. Let's find out what they're thinking, what intentions they have on their next action, their next move in our connection and relationship. If this reading does not resonate for you, check out your moon, your Venus, or rising. Sometimes those resonate better. I also do the wild card reading. Uh, so you can check that one and see if I picked up your energy there. Let's go ahead and jump into the reading. I am using the fairies. And my Aries, you got the always fairies. I love this image. This is truly about... Uh, a desire for someone that you're longing for you would you like you are my forever infinity gonna love you all eternity card yeah somebody is feeling some major major love and yearning desires for us Ooh, Aries, that's exciting yeah Let's go ahead and jump into the reading. We are using our soulmate, attracting and nurturing loving relationships. Let's see what the messages are that we're getting. Ooh, let's do the top one. You are entering a period of positive change. Wow. Deep and profound transformation that occur at the deepest level of your being. You emerge with a renewed passion for life full of romance and creativity. Oh, Aries, wow, wow. Can I do that change with you? Yes. Surround yourself with nature and you will feel a greater sense of well-being. Nature's healing energy is sensual and magical. It will awaken the sensual magic within you. Ooh. Uh-huh. Getting grounded, just being outside in nature, clearing your head, clearing your head. Surrender all that no longer serves you. Let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface and be healed. Let there be space for new energies to enter. A new beginning transforms darkness into light. Oh, Aries, we are going through some change. What these cards are saying, some major changes. Ooh. Let's go ahead and pull the cards. The first one is your energy from your person's perspective. It's not actually how you are. It's how they are perceiving you. So, yeah, from their perspective, this is your energy. Oh, I love it. King of Wands, Leo energy. They're seeing you as somebody full of passion, fire, enthusiasm. Ah. Uh, but when I say passion, we're talking the fire, the wands. It can also you being passionate about uh, uh, things that have happened in your life uh, that might not been so. Because we've got that uh, surrender, all that no longer serves us. Let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface. And some of that might be that fury, passion of mm, somebody got on our nerves, done something, mm. so, but I like the Leo, the Leo is, ooh, Aries Leo energy, wow, that's pretty good energy, between us, energy between us is patience, uh, nurturing, allowing something to unfold, mm -hmm. being patient, but also wanting to be there to nurture, to allow things to unfold. Your person's energy. Oh, Knight of Cups. Gemini energy. Ow. I love that. Oh, my goodness. Gemini and Aries energy. Whether it's your person's sign or not, it's my... Uh, God's way of helping me tap into the energy that flows between the two of you. Oh my goodness, that is like the bomb. It's it, that kind of connection. Oh, passionate, passionate. Sparks flying everywhere. Bed, in the bedroom, out of the bedroom. Good, good connection. It's, ex and it's an exciting energy uh, when those two energies come together. Oh, I love that. Ooh, it's, a, it's also, a, a, how do I put it? 
a relationship and energy uh, when we connect with a uh, Gemini energy it challenges us it challenges the Gemini but it's in a good way and it ignites fire passion sparks it's beautiful beautiful energy inter that interacts together well very well Ooh, I love that <clears throat> my Aries wow it's coming back to your energy we've got <clears throat> Ten of Swords. Oh, my Aries, what have we been through? We've reached the end of something and we're feeling like uh, we're ready to let go of a lot of negativity in our life that can be people, things, circumstances. We're ready to move forward. We're done with the past, with, with the negativity of the past. So, yeah. Oh, that's that fury energy I was feeling. Energy between us. Oh, new love. New love. My cup overrunneth with love for you. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups. I like that. Nurturing a new love. Nurturing some blessings. Your person's energy. Seven of Cups. Ow. Opportunity has presented itself. Oh, for your person. And they're hoping that they will become an option for you. The bad thing that I just I, I'm I'm contemplating a minute because your person is like how do I put this you you have gone through some rough stuff uh, probably a broken relationship that was you know just wasn't working and you're coming out with that ten of swords and your person is like even though even though you they realize you are are coming away from. You know, so, you know, a toxic kind of situation. Uh, it's opened an opportunity for them. It's give them a chance to step up and say, "Hey, hey, I'm here. Put, add me into the options. Will you consider me?" Kind of thing. So yeah, your energy under that ten of swords, page of swords. They're really hoping you're going to keep an open mind and that you will actually consider. Uh, new opening up to a new love with them that you'll let them be an option for you energy between us tower moment oh my gosh yeah that's what I was saying that your person I was uh, hesitating for a minute trying to get the completeness of what they were the energies trying to express to me is they're acknowledging there's been destruction <laughs> for you and a lot, you know, that's divine intervention, clearing a path, oppressive things being moved out of your way. And your person is acknowledging that. And even though they feel for you, they also getting a little bit, they, they can't help but they get a little bit excited of, please consider me. Please consider, <laughs> maybe it was divine intervention so you would see me kind of thing. So, yeah. Next one on their energy. Four of Wands, yeah, they, ooh, ooh, I like that. Four of Wands is being supportive. Um, <clears throat> teamwork, things like that is also laying solid foundation of a good relationship where you're, you're working together with each other. Oh, your person really is like trying to say they're there for you and they would really like that committed relationship with you. If you would just give them a chance. So, yeah. Back to your energy under the page of swords. And please keep an open mind. <laughs> oh, five of cups. Yeah. They they realize you're going through a process of letting go of a lot of right now uh, in the past and things that, you know, at a sad time for you on a heart level. Uh, they are absolutely acknowledging that and Patience wanting to nurture, wanting to nurture it. Coming in on the tower, we have a two of swords. They realize you may not be able to make a decision right now because of the emotions and what you've been going through. But they're hoping, they're still hoping you'll give them a chance and that you'll see them. Uh, next one, what do we got? We got a jumper somewhere. Yes, we did. And I completely forgot. Let's take it on the Two of Swords. Oh, Seven of Swords. Oh, my goodness. 
picking up the pieces is first thing I want to say. Even though our Seven of Swords can represent feeling like something's been taken from you. Like you've been, you know, something was stole from you. You'd like to get back even if it's your self-dignity and self-respect. But I'm I'm picking up picking up pieces. It's like we're picking up the pieces. Your person's acknowledging we're trying to pick up the pieces of ourselves, pull ourselves uh, together, uh, coming out of a bad, you know, a, a connection that didn't work for us. So yeah, uh, see the energy going under them. Oh, full card leap of faith, please. Please, 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 yes, they want, they're like, please give me a chance. Please have faith in me. Please notice me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my Aries. We definitely got somebody. And like I said, they're coming in as a Gemini energy. That's a bomb of energy to put with your own Aries energy. It truly is. It's a, God, exciting, exciting connection. Ooh. Let's see the energy is going across. We're using the Island Town Wellness on yours. We've got healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. Yeah, your person is realizing you're going through a process to uh, come back, picking up the pieces, pulling your boundaries back together, getting your self-respect back, your mourning and grieving, your, your heart's aching a little bit. And you're in a healing mode. So, yeah. Energy between us. Cassette. Outdated thinking. Conditioning. Replaying events over in your head. Yeah, they, this may actually be. Because i got a feeling we know this person. They're not someone that is just going to come out of nowhere and meet us. We know this person. But we've been in a connection that has blocked them. Blocked them. And all of a sudden, there's opportunity. Divine timing has happened. That is giving, giving them a chance that they're hoping you will consider them in a different light. But we may actually, they may be actually seeing us going over, over things in our head because we've got that what was taken from us what we would like to have back uh the fury of the emotions on that uh leo king up here yeah so yeah but they're very patient with it they're very and they're very very understanding of it but at the same time there's a fire burning inside them of oh god please give me a chance their energy Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Ooh, all of it popped. Preparing for union, especially. Hoping and praying you'll give them a chance. Let's go ahead and pull the cards and see what their intentions, what the next uh, action they're going to take toward you will be. Well, ooh, they're not going to do anything right now. They're in hangman pause mode. Mm, no action right now other than trying to get clear perception of something. Next one, a Queen of Pentacles. That's Capricorn. Capricorn area. That, oh, oh, I like that because they're willing to jump in. They're, they're looking for, they're looking for anything you might need. That they could jump in and help. If you need, if you need somebody's shoulder to cry on on my shoulder. If you need to keep replaying what happened over and over and need somebody to just sound it off of that sounding board, soundboard on me. That's what this person is like. Whatever whatever you need, they want to be there for you. That The nurturer of that Capricorn energy. Mm. Next one. Nine of Swords at Worry, Stress, and Anxiety. Oh, what else? Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Heartbreak. Oh, so their plan of action, what is in their mind of what they want to do is seriously just pay attention and be aware, be very attentive to your needs while you're going through a process of uh, the, the stress, the, you know, and the heartache, recovering from the, you know, what you've been through. That's your person's intentions, the actions they want to take. We're going to pull up Romance Angel Oracles. Go back across. See if we can get a little more detail on the hangman. We've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yes, they are. Your person is like, yes. Yes, cry on my shoulder. I would, let me hold you. Yeah. 
Coming in on the Queen of Pentacles. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This, yeah, open up and talk to them if you need to. They're there for whatever you need. They want to give it to you. Coming in on that Nine of Swords, that stress and anxiety. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. That is, we our hearts closed off right now because of what we are going through. And your person is going to wait. They want to nurture it and, until you realize. And they want, want to be able to show you. It's safe for you to open your heart to them. On the Three of Swords, we've got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, we're in cautious mode right now. Yeah. And we got a jumper on that one. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Yeah. The person realizes you're going through a lot right now. But they're also a little anxious. Anxious. Yeah. That uh, to know that you would get, uh, consider them as an option of, you know, a love connection here. Yeah. We're using the power of surrenders. What do we need to surrender in this connection? Surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with a healthier, healthier alternative. Oh my God. Your person is like, I'm the healthier alternative. Yes, they are. They're like, me, me, I'm the healthier alternative. <laughs> yes, I am. Next one. Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Your person definitely wants to jump. Yeah, but they also are trying to hold back a little bit because they realize you're going through some stuff. Yeah. Next one, surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Yeah, get, wait. they're hoping, hoping and waiting for you to get that inner peace. Pull yourself back together, pick up the pieces. Yeah, oh, I like that. Let's go ahead and get some messages. Which deck do I want to use first? Let's use the index cards. And y'all know... If I start cursing under my breath, because these are hard to shuffle. They stick together and they fall out of my hands. Y'all forgive me if I curse under my breath. This is for my Aries and their person. Aries and their person. I'm embarrassed by how excited I get when I know I'm going to see you. Yes, they are. <laughs> oh my goodness. What else? all excited like please see me see me see me there's no doubt in my mind that we belong together oh oh yeah especially since they popped that uh gemini aries energy together uh-huh can we just talk i want to tell you everything Oh, yeah. Just talk. Just talk. And never, just know, they're like, I'll be in listen mode if you just need to talk. You can say anything. You can say the same thing over and over and over. Just sound bored off of me. Just talk to me. Yes. I can't think straight around you. <laughs> yeah, they're nervous. They're nervous. They're like giddy nervous kind of energy going on here. Like, please notice me. Please let me be an option. Let me be one of them chalices you're looking at. I act like I'm not interested, but you're my obsession. I don't think they could put on such a good act for us. Because we if it's just resonating, you probably already know who this person is. But this is their truth. Yeah, it's an obsession. They're like, yes, because this is our always fairies. A yearning for infinity. <laughs> infinity that love that lasts forever and it feeling like you found it with someone Ooh. you know you could break my heart yes you do my Aries you know you could break my heart I want to be the one you run to 
Yes, it is. Yes, they do. Let's go for one more and I'm going to switch off the decks. And I think I found it right in the middle. I would never hold you down. I would cherish your happiness. Yes, they would. And that's an honest statement. Oh, you can feel that one. Let's go ahead. Which one, which one, which one do we want? Let's do the rose deck. We'll do the rose deck, y'all. Let's get some messages for my Aries from their person. For my Aries. I'm burning with passion and desire for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me shuffle a little bit more here. It's for my Aries and their person. And y'all know I'm getting ready to drop them. Oh, I feel like you are so out of my reach. I'm wanting to put that in past tense. I'm wanting to say that they have felt like you have been so out of their reach. Because they are giddy excited. Even though you're going through a hard time. It's opened a, a doorway, a pathway for them. Mm -hmm. An opportunity. So, yeah. I need you here with me. <laughs> we have shared many past lives together. Wow, always fairies, infinity. And they want to share many, many more lifetimes with you, my Aries. Mm. I hope you will give this person a chance, my Aries. Because that Gemini, even if it's not their, their sign... The energy between the two of you will be like Aries Gemini energy. And that's it. That's a phenomenal energy. I'm hoping you'll give it a chance. I need you to make the first move. Yeah, they don't want to overbear you because they really realize they're being very patient of whatever you need. That's the pause. That hangman. That hangman. They're waiting for you to lead the way and open the door to opportunity whatever you need kind of thing and we have you or what has been missing in my life you're my paradise in heaven and our bottom energy guys let's get the bottom one the moment i saw you i knew i was going to fall in love with you yes yes are always fairies Let's go ahead. Which deck? Which deck now? Let's pull a couple more. Let's do the butterfly deck. Transformation because I really feel like my Aries are going through some transformation on a personal level right now. This is for my Aries from their person. I'm so in love with you. Yes, I am. My Aries. Hmm. Bottom energy, I'm here for you. Desperate, we'll take that one too. You're irresistible. Ow, we might as well just pull the whole deck for them. There is so much I need to say. I know you are the one for me. This is the real me. I dream of a future with you. Oh my God, yeah. Ow, let's make this happen. And look, obsession. You're my obsession. Aries, Aries, I'm going to stop there because I think you get the gist of what your person is wanting to say and what they really want. So, yeah, I like your person. I like this energy. I really want to make love to you guys. I can't quit. You know, I got to stop. But we are pulling Gemini energy that wants to, <laughs> yeah, talk. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love, light, many, many blessings as always. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.